Hi, St. Anthony New Brighton families. This is your superintendent, Renee Cornet. Wanted to connect with you after the email I sent out last night in regards to um, opening school for the fall of 2021. I just wanted to connect and say that I know it's difficult. It's, this is, this undertaking for families to navigate um, how to do their family, their own work and their child's education is, it, is, is, is difficult, is, is not even the right word. So I wanna, I wanna acknowledge that. Um, and I also wanna be honest and say, I, I can't promise, I can't guarantee what school is gonna look like um, potentially September 8th and or after September 8th, all the way to June of the end of next year. Um, but I can tell you that any decision that we make as a district is gonna be um, including the experts um, in the areas of epidemiology, right? So they understand the virus but also our pediatricians, our psychologists, all the people that also work with kids. And they say, what is the impact of not having children in school? So I'm making every decision based on that. Here's the deal. I'm not gonna make the decision based on something political. I'm not gonna make a decision so that I'm more liked or less liked or anything like that. It's gonna be about the data that I have in front of me. Um, and because I can't guarantee that, and I knew that going into the summer, what I am going to guarantee and what we are going to promise as a district is that we can do two things. We can think about this COVID response in two frames. First and foremost is the effective instruction and the ways in which we do school, no matter the median, in-person, hybrid, or um, distance, that we are going to guarantee that our instruction is rigorous, that it's relevant, and that it's still steeped in relationships. These relationships are what make everything happen. And on the other side, with our teams on a logistics and operations time, they're thinking about all of the things that keep our staff and our children safe and our community. What's our ventilation system? Do we have masks? What, how many masks? Do we need plexiglass masks? Do we need face shields? All of those things. They're working on that. These two things I can guarantee. When we implement what model, I can't, but I can do those. That doesn't mean it's not hard. It is hard. And what I can say is that St. Anthony New Brighton uh, as a community have been dealing with hard things for a long time, specifically since March. Um, with the killing of George Floyd, the civil unrest that our communities and our, and our, commu and our country and around the world are saying, it's no longer acceptable to have the inequalities that we have in our country. In addition, we need to break down the systems, schools included, that perpetuate those inequalities. We're committed to that. And at a more micro level, in our schools, this summer we have had allegations of sexual and um, uh, racial harassment. Some of these allegations go back 20, 30 years. I have been taking every single one of those allegations that have come and we are using our local authorities, our outside investigator to get to the bottom of all of them and to properly deal with them. On a side note, I, I feel like um, I have to say this, there's a, there's a belief or a rumor out there that as my time as a principal, as well as my time as a superintendent, that I have chosen to push under the rug um, harassment allegations or discrimination allegations. All I can tell you is that that's just not true. It's inaccurate. Uh, I take my job as superintendent really seriously, sometimes too much. And I'm unabashedly, fiercely protective of children. They are the work of my life. And so I just can promise you that as your superintendent, that those things are unacceptable for me and I will continue to work to ensure that we have a caring environment in our schools for all our children. St. Anthony, it's hard times ahead of us. I know we can do this. I have confidence in our community collectively coming together to do this.